The plan! Resistance 3 or something. What gun is that? That is the bullseye. That is hard to see what you're shooting at. It is really hard to see. That's why the secondary fire for the bullseye, for those of you who have not played Resistance before, uh, is a bullseye target. It tags whatever you hit, and then you can literally shoot around corners. Like you can tag something and then uh, like get behind cor uh, cover, and then the, the bullets just like bend around, it, like whatever you shoot. It's pretty fucking slick. It's really cool, actually. It's a like we, we were talking about this earlier. Oh yeah, we were in this voiceover that that um, it, mechanic, hasn't, it hasn't been that copied. I, that I haven't seen stolen in any other game yet. But it should be. It definitely should be. It's fucking great. Now uh, I've tried it a few times. I don't know if I'm just doing it wrong. I don't think you can do bullseye grenades anymore. Where you sh do you remember that? Like yeah, you used to like normally in Resistance one or two. If you're using the bullseye, shoot the wall. You shoot the wall, but you hold R2. And like normally, if you shoot something and miss, it um, it just disappears. But also, if you hold it, R2, it would like make this extra little beep noise, and then you could shoot a whole bunch of bullets, and they would just like gather around as if they're like um, uh, rotating around uh, the target. The target. And then you could hit R2 again, and they would explode. It was kind of like an advanced trick, I guess you could call it. Yeah. I don't know what you would call it, but um, anyway, so just chill out in this area for a while. Uh, as you can see, I'm not where I was. <laughs> you made a cut. I made a cut. And uh, the transitions for when you die... Uh -huh. aren't great in this game sometimes so it's hard to make it that was probably one, the worst one through this throughout this entire guide yeah so you died i died you died I, you you died during this game no normally i don't die once through <laughs> any guide um and that's a lie or sarcasm i i like to call it sarcasm some people <laughs> will call it a lie um <laughs> those, those people difference? are idiots is there a difference between sarcasm and a lie yeah because sarcasm, if uh, most people will understand uh -huh. that you're not being honest. I'm being facetious. You're not being uh, genuine. I'm being silly. You're not being genuine, right. Uh, so the last part of this is actually pretty tricky. Try to take out those steelheads, the dudes with the augers first, and then focus on the other bugs jumping around with their bullshit guns. So what do you think of the... Uh, I don't think anything except that the Broncos suck ass. Well, that's right good. Now. Okay. Well, how about this question? The Broncos are fucking terrible. We, no, we don't. We don't want to talk about. I want to talk about the things. Broncos. Let's not talk about. Topical no, the Broncos things. are fucking terrible because I'd say seventy-five percent of the people watching this video are going to watch it within a week of me posting it online. Uh -huh. And we're doing this during halftime of the first Broncos game of the season. The Monday Broncos. night football. Are you ready for Raiders. some football? No, we're not. It's a Monday night party. <laughs> and uh, the Broncos are fucking terrible. Yeah. So what were you going to ask? What do you think of the... Uh, Broncos? The Broncos are fucking terrible. Kevin Butler, or is this this three commercial? I didn't see it. Oh. Actually, well, I, I saw 10 seconds of it, and I was like, I don't want to see this. It's stupid. Is it stupid? Yeah. He's like talking... So what do you think of the commercial? That's fucking... That it sucks, and Kevin Butler's overplayed. He kind of disappeared for a few months after the whole... <laughs> I think Sony kind of just shut the fuck up for a few months. Yeah, they cut all advertising and realized, oh, we got to let people forget about the whole, <laughs> oh, we suck at online stuff. Oh, we, not only did we um, shut down our entire online network, but we lost all your credit card info mm -hmm. in the process. Mm, I don't think that actually happened. Okay, well, it, people were saying it happened. Yeah. Well, I credit card info was lost for sure. Was it really? Yeah. Oh, well, that's pretty sad. Um, so I've been bitching about the multiplayer. And they put out a patch. And they put out. How big was that patch? Pretty significant. I think it was 670 megs. Uh huh. That's pretty sizable. That's about half the size of the day one patch. Mm hmm. Um, but apparently. Going back to the whole Sony Online fiasco, um, apparently the beta for this game was supposed to happen 
Oh, during that during time? That, like, and um, Sony and Resistance, or I guess Insomniac employees, have almost been using that as an excuse for their online multiplayer sucking so much. That they didn't have time. Um, during, or, uh, I think it was on the official PlayStation blog, mm-hmm. they put out patch notes for this. Mm-hmm. And someone, uh, I don't know, some random dumbass commenter, even though it wasn't that bad of a comment, um, said something about, like, oh, Uncharted's beta came out a long time ago. Mm-hmm. And they're in Uncharted is coming out mid October. Yeah. And uh, Resistance's beta came out like two weeks before the game came out. Yeah. And the online sucks ass. Like, what's the fucking deal? And in the comments, uh, an official representative of Insomniac, because, like, their accounts have, like, special highlighting. Yeah. Like, their account names in the comments. like threads. gold or something. Yeah, they're, they're highlighted very distinctively. Said, well, our beta was supposed to happen, and then Sony got hacked. <laughs> and it's like... Well, uh, you, uh, this game sucks online. Hopefully Sony compen- compensates them. Well, uh, I can't recommend anybody... Buying this game? Uh, doing anything other than renting it. Because there is no reason... Because multiplayer is fucking unplayable. And, uh, even dirt... Oh, so, okay, so... After you hear someone say, like, run for the power core. Just run for the power core. <laughs> Um, this part sucks ass. It's not really fun. Um, on superhuman difficulty. Maybe I should take that back. Like, it's it's hard to say, like, what's really fun and what's super suck ass. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for superhuman versus normal. Because this was actually kind of a f- sort of fun part when there isn't an extremely good chance of you dying. Yeah. Uh, on normal. <laughs> but it's not fun and terrible and no skill involved at all. Um, so you don't even, you can't even shoot? No. You can't drop it. Okay, so that's that's super not fun. Right. Yeah, it's terrible. And I die at one point in this because um, you'll s- there's kind of like a break point in the middle of this where uh, you're supposed to get a health pack. And I'll point it out. And it wasn't there. And there's a couple of those little bugger dudes that fly into the room where there's supposed to be nobody. And they're just, like, sitting at sitting there shooting at me. And the guy who's supposed to be escorting me, like, those two guys are supposed to be dead right now. They're not supposed to be there. They follow me into the area. So you're just supposed to be running into like right a now, cut scene. Like, right now, there's supposed to be a health pack on that table. And those two dudes eventually followed me into there and killed me. One of the dudes, like, oh... Whew. All you right, catch cut, your breath. You got a, a checkpoint. I, I did get a checkpoint, fortunately. So it wasn't like, you know, oh, fuck, I just lost three minutes of running through that shit. Um, Hold anyway. on. Okay, come on. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, they should, jump down. I'd love it, you know, this is fun, your first time through the game, but it'd be great if they also balanced this for the superhuman unlockable difficulty where you die in like four shots well yeah it's like okay if you can't shoot you can't do anything you take one percent of the damage you normally do yeah yeah it's kind of ridiculous it's like a playable cutscene is what it should play as yeah I shouldn't be able to die during a cutscene which is what this is that's a very good point uh, fucking cutscene I yeah. died during a cutscene. How bad would that piss you off if you actually died during a cutscene? Or well, would you think it was funny? Well, I mean, this is more interactive than like, a, uh, what are they called? Like the push button sequences, what I always think of the quick time event. Yeah. You know? Like you can die during a quick time event, but it's not <laughs> like you lose a significant, like the consequence of fucking up during a quick time event in almost any game is almost nothing. You know, the maximum is... The whole event. I would say 30 seconds to a minute. Maximum minute yeah. of actual gameplay. Penalty, right? Um, but in this... Actually, I lost less than 30. 
Yeah. So maybe maybe I'm just bitching for about nothing. <laughs> maybe that, you that does always happen. Are. Hey, you watch your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so don't get me started on the Broncos. Wait, what? How? Turn my take my fucking eyeballs out and turn them around. <laughs> what? So uh, the ammo box again. I talked about this during the boat level. Uh, to max out on the secondary ammo. You have to keep doing You it. have to, like, wait for it to close and then open it up oh, again. Oh, all of a sudden there's more secondary ammo, too. Yeah, you get, and grenades as well. So to max out on uh, shrapnel grenades and uh, I think they're called hedgehogs. Yeah. So, <sighs> go Broncos in the second half. <laughs> <laughs> up on ammo. Don't want you running low while you're watching my back. You are going to watch my back. Right, Joe? Grab some Molotovs, Joe. Good. Try not to set yourself on fire, okay? 